Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on getting around Westeros with our Westeros craft maps. This is your host Dutch Guard and I will be navigating with you today. Um, you may recall from our spawn video tutorial that I briefly visited this house in spawn. Um, in this house it gives you three options to view the maps for our world. So first let's start with our dynamic map. So to get to our dynamic map, you can either go to your browser and type in mc.westeroscraft.com or you can go to our homepage, click map in the top toolbar, which takes you to our in-page dynamic map, uh, which looks like this. But if you want to get a full version of the dynamic map that fills up your window, just click full page and it will look like this. So just to give you a little background into what you're seeing here on the dynamic map, you've got the zoom controls here on the top left, but you can also scroll with your mouse to zoom in and out. You've got the different layer controls where you can toggle on and off whether you'd like to see the warps, the players, the different cities, the spawn point. Uh, there's quite a few options on there, but the main ones to keep in mind are the players and the warps. Um, then we also have the uh, coordinates for wherever your cursor is hovering over the dynamic map. We'll tell you what the XYZ coordinates are of uh, where you're looking at. Um, then in the bottom there, we've got the chat box uh, for whenever there's chat coming from in-game. We'll show up there. Um, then in the top in the middle, we have the uh, the time from in-game and the sun and the moon there rotating. And then on the top right, we have a, a compass showing you the directions of the uh, of the compass, so the north, south, east, and west. And then in the right, we have the main sidebar. Now, this is the most important part of the dynamic map. Um, in the very top, we have the different map types. So when you first start up the dynamic map, you'll be looking at uh, plain old Westeros. And this is our old Westeros map. Um, that we don't build on anymore, so it probably won't be the map that you want to explore. Um, so to get to our different maps, uh, you can also see there you, we've got the New Test map type and the Westeros New map type. Uh, the New Test world, you can click on the um, a blue or the blue and green button there on the left, and we'll show you our test world with all the different plots. Um, I'll have a different video uh, exploring our test world, um, and I'll have a link for that there once that's up. Um, but that's not a map you really want to look at either. What you want to look at is the Westeros New. So hit the blue and green button under Westeros New and we'll show you a two-dimensional flat uh, image of our world of Westeros. Um, and so here you can toggle the warps option on and you can see all of the different warps we have on our new world. Um, so if you couldn't find them in-game or if uh, you had trouble remembering the name of something but you knew where it was in Westeros, you can find that place here and find what warp it is. It lists literally every single warp we have in the game. Um, and then also we have uh, quite a few options for uh, this map and viewing it different ways. So say you want to zoom into a specific area, say here we're at Tumbleton, and you want to see it from an angle. So you can hit the Q button here, and that will show you Tumbleton uh, from a three-quarter view. And so you can sort of see it on the side. It's just another really cool way to see our server. It's almost like flying around in god mode in-game. Um, and then we have one last button here that you can see in Westeros New, and that is to check out all the different biomes of the world. Um, and that's also in three-quarter view, and I don't know if that's something you're interested in, you can check that out as well. And then below that, uh, below the map types, we have a counter for how many people are on the server. And we also have all the players listed there who are on the server. Um, so you can click on one of their names if you like, and it will take you right to the location of where that person is. Um, so if you want to check out, say, where your buddy is building, click their name, and it will take you right there. Um, if their name's in white, it means that they're already on the map that you're looking on. But if they're on a different map, say they're in test, uh, trying out some different ideas, it, their name will be in gray. But you can click on that, and it will take you to the test map. So those are the basics for using our dynamic map. It's a pretty easy to use tool for exploring the world of Westeros, and I highly recommend you check it out. Um, so let's head back to the map house and I'll show you our in-game maps. So now we're here back in our map house and I'm going to show you the in-game maps that we have. So we've got the in-game 3D map and the in-game 2D map. Um, since our 3D map is the standard map, we'll start there. So we'll just do slash warp map and that will take us to our map platform the Westeros map in 3d um, to get to these places click the warp signs and the map scale here is 1 to 150 to our actual 
uh, Westeros map. So let's jump, and we're starting here on the southern portion of Westeros. So here you can see the Sands of Dorne and the Dornish Marches here. Uh, we've got the uh, Old Town over here, uh, stretching up through the Reach Pass High Garden. I'm um, going into the Stormlands on the right there, and you can see King's Landing, that big red mini model here. So each build has its sort of own mini model. As you can see, the Red Keep here. You can even see Baylor Sept and the Dragon Pit in King's Landing here. You've got the Westerlands to the west here, and um, each one of these little mini models has a sign. So you can see Pink Maiden has a sign with a blue warp uh, on it. So uh, you know what that means if you've seen our spawn video, and uh, that means that you can right-click these signs to get to the location. So let's right-click this sign, and we'll travel to Pink Maiden. Uh, so here we are at the castle and town of Pink Maiden. And to get back to the original map, just do slash back and it will take you back to the map. Um, so that's the very basics of our in-game map. Um, if there's any location you just want to check out, just fly to it in the map, and uh, you can check out its mini model. There's some pretty creative ones, and right-click the sign to get to the actual build. Um, so you've got the neck here, uh, and the Iron Islands over there on the left in the ocean. Uh, you've got the north coming up here. As you can see, we also use the biomes um, on this map here, so you can see all the appropriate textures for the different regions. It goes all the way up through the north, and you can see our uh, miniature wall here uh, with all the different castles labeled uh, along the uh, bottom of the wall and uh, beyond the wall as well. Pretty much goes up to the um, the very edge of the known world. Uh, we basically just copied the same size as what you'll find in the uh, Song of Ice and Fire books of the maps of Westeros. Um, so right over next door to the 3D map is our 2D map. So you can either do slash warp uh, map 2D. Um, or you can just fly over from the 3D map. Uh, this is just a sort of flat 2D version of our map. It's just a little simpler, maybe a little bit easier to navigate. You can see there's the wall there. Um, it's just got all the, the castles listed along there. Um, it's a much easier map to uh, check out. It doesn't have as many locations on it because we don't update it as frequently. But um, just in case you're interested in seeing something a little simpler with just the major locations um, on the map, then this is the one you want to check out. Um, so... Um, that's it. Those are our three map options for the server. Uh, probably the most useful is uh, our dynamic map, I think, but if you're interested in seeing another really cool project of ours, then definitely check out the uh, 3D map, and to get there, like I said, just do slash warp 3D. Um, so thank you all for watching. Hopefully this was a helpful tutorial on checking out the maps of Westeros. Happy exploring, and I will see you on the server.